In today's video, I am going to show you how to do the setup of your Canon Pixima G6000 series printer with the Macbook. Now first we will connect this printer with the Wi-Fi network of our home and then we will then we will add the drivers in our Macbook for printing and scanning. So let's go to the printer screen. Press the setting icon. It will go to the setup mode. Click OK on the setup. Scroll ahead. Select manual connect and click OK. It will display the list of Wi-Fi networks. Select your Wi-Fi. Select again to enter the password. Now use the setting icon to enter the password you can use it for uppercase select like E and OK to enter it select again to enter a number and click OK you can select again for special character or lowercase and then click OK so this way you can enter the password and to apply the password press and hold the OK button for few seconds printer is connected to the Wi-Fi press the setting icon and you will see the Wi-Fi signal on the screen now go to your Macbook we have to download the drivers from the Canon website so open the web browser G60 now type in the exact model number so it should be 6010020 or 70 and select driver so open the Canon website with the drivers. Now go to the Canon website. You will see it displays the name of your printer model and it also says softwares and drivers. If you click on it, now select the operating system Mac. Now select your Mac OS and then click on the IJ scan utility so that you can scan the pages and you can also download the recommended softwares so download is complete go to the system preferences we have to add the printer so click printers and scanners click on the plus button on this screen and you will see Canon 6000 series printer now click on the add button and you can select if you want air print auto select and then you can add this printer here so click on the add button displays G6000 series you have option to print scan if you click on the scan and open scanner if you have placed a page for the scanning it will show up there so this way we can do the setup of this printer using a macbook thanks for watching